you guys want to download um, apps or games or anything from your Google Play Store onto your computer, PC, or laptop, or notebook, regardless if you have a Windows OS or a Mac OS, it's very easy to do. And I'm going to show you guys uh, step by step. You can see my computer here. We have a lot of apps on here, games. Um, we have a lot of messaging programs. Um, so it's pretty easy, so I'm going to show you guys step by step. All the descriptions will be in the bottom, so let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download Bluestacks, which is the Android emulator. Go to bluestacks.com. I'll have everything below in the details section. Now when you go to this page, if you have a Windows-based system, if you have a Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, XP or Vista, you want to click here. If you have a Mac OS, a Mac operating system, you click over here. So I have a Windows 7, so I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to wait for this to download. It's going to take about five minutes to download. Okay, so when it's done downloading, you want to open up, open it up, and you want to go ahead and run it. And we're going to install this BlueStacks. Give it a second here and this window will pop up here on the bottom right hand corner it says continue. Click on continue. Now look on here, okay? What you want to do is uh, you don't need this very bottom one down here. It says subscribe to Spotlight, one free app daily. Uncheck that. It's not needed and you it, it'll install a lot faster. Click on install. And what we want to do here is we want to wait five minutes or so. And then you'll get this that'll pop up. Now it's loading. Give it another few more minutes. Okay, great. Now this will pop up. Okay. Okay, so from here we have to do two more things. We have to do two things in order to get the Google Play Store up and running. So this is what we do, okay? Go ahead up here and click on search. Just tap it once. And then from here, just type in anything. Just type in something. It doesn't matter because Google Play, there's no Google Play in here anyway. So now it says search play for whatever you put up there. Just click on that. And it says market finder, market not found, search web for installation, recipe, yes. Click on OK. And now what we're doing now is we're downloading an APK file. And if you look down here in the bottom right hand side, you have this little down arrow. Click on that. And you can see that this uh, it's an APK file, and it's an MPI.v23, and I think this will probably take about maybe three minutes or so. And you can see now Android is upgrading. So give this about three minutes. Okay, this is just about done, and you can just play around with it. You can like <clears throat> click on the down. That down arrow is back here. If you want to take a look at it again, just click on that down arrow again. And you can see we're just about there. And on the blue stack screen, this is the home button. You can see the back button here. Okay, it looks like we're done. Now we need to do the same thing again, okay? Go back up here in the top left hand corner and click on search. It's, just, it's one click for this whole entire application. Up here again, just type in whatever. And then we'll type it, we'll click on search, play for whatever. Okay, so now here's the two steps we need to complete, okay? And first thing we're gonna do is we have to enable the app store. And the second thing is uh, enable the app sync. So I'm gonna push on continue. And then from here it says add a Google account, add a Gmail account, and you can put in your existing or you can put in a new. I'm going to put in an existing one. And I'm going to put it on pause here. <clears throat> okay, and once you put your uh, username and your password, you want to click on sign in down here. And this is going to take like five seconds. Okay, there we go. Now this page pops up here, back up and restore, and it says here, uh, 
keep this backed up with my Google account. It doesn't matter. You can just leave it checked and then click on next. Okay, and there you go. Now the app store is enabled. Now the last thing we need to do is enable the app sync. So we're going to click on continue. Okay, so if, now this will pop up enable app sync and my I'm covering my email address, but what we have to do from here is just put in your password and click sign in. And then you have this message that will pop up. Do you want your browser to remember your, this password? I always click never. You can pick it whatever you want. Let it log in. Okay, great. Now both the steps are done. Now you want to click on let's go. Then you'll get this message that pops up. You have to agree to the terms of the Google Play Store. I will leave this unchecked. I don't care about keeping up to date with news and offers. And then you click on accept. And here we go. Now we officially have uh, BlueStacks installed on the computer as well as Google Play is finally enabled. So you can see even on the top right hand corner, we can click on that and we can see we can do a search Google Play. So from here, you have your uh, Google Play and the BlueStacks. Everything's activated, ready to go. And on the top right-hand side, you should have a search button. You can search for whatever app you want. I don't have it on here because I'm already on the home page. What you can do is just click click down here on the home page, and you'll get something like this. Uh, you won't have these on there because I have all these already installed. But uh, you just go ahead and click on the search, and then um, I don't know, search for whatever you want on here. Um, I don't know. And if, if you don't have it installed with this name up here, nothing's going to show up here. You just click on search play. The Google search play, same thing as like on your phone, whatever. And then from here, it's just like uh, on your phone, you know, just go ahead and click. Then you just click, click and install. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Any questions, uh, comment uh, below. Any subscriptions and likes would be great too. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.